Hello Leo, this is Tarot Queen Jamila. I am here to do your daily tarot reading for the 25th through the 31st, so welcome to the channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you need a private reading. I do offer phone video as well as Skype readings. Um, the link to my website is below and if you guys need me for uh, consultations for spell works including uh, hex removals, cleanses, healings, love spells, money spells, the link is below, okay? Alright, let's get started. I'm going to be using the um, Druid Tarot deck today for these readings. Uh, and I'm going to get started. I'm going to call to the Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, what messages do you have for the Leos for October 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 30th, and the 31st of October 2018, in particular for their love life? So we'll look at love life. This will be strictly for your love life. For the Leos. Alright, thank you, spirits. Okay, so I have you guys' answer. Let's see what you guys get, Leo. Good grief. I tried to make sure that all of the cards were not inverted. All of your cards came up inverted, Leo. Or reversed. You got the Ten of Pentacles in the inverted position for the 25th. You got the Queen of Pentacles inverted for the 26th. You got the Rebirth card on the 27th inverted. You got the Prince of Swords inverted on the 28th, the 29th. You guys got the Five of Swords inverted. The 30th of October, you got the Ace of Cups inverted. And the 31st, you got the Wheel inverted. So... Maybe it doesn't mean anything that they are inverted. But what I will tell you is that what I can sense is that a lot of you Leos are trying to end something with an earth sign. But it's not quite ending. <clears throat> it's not quite completing out the cycle. It's not completing out with this person. And <clears throat> what I do suspect is that this person is possibly holding on to you, Leo. Um, it's what I can sense, but let me ask Spirit, what is the issue? What is the problem? What messages do you have for Leo? So today, there was something that was done to either elongate the relationship, and then I feel like a lot of you Leos are trying to dissolve a marriage, possibly, or either something long-term with an earth sign, and they're just not really accepting it. Yeah, the Six of Swords inverted. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, you've moved to a different place mentally than your lover or either your ex. And you're trying to move on, but there's something about that relationship. It's something that either that person is doing. It's somewhere that you're trying to go, Leo. I can sense you being really frustrated. You wanting to get out of your current situation. Um, there's something that's going on. And see what I can... Oh, you know what? A lot of you are trying to divorce an earth sign or either an air sign. And they're not letting go. And you just want it to be over. And they just will not divorce you. They just will not do it, Leo. And... Um, what I can sense is that they keep trying to get you in some kind of legal trouble as well. So if you are in a relationship with somebody, I feel as though it's going to be rocky anyway because your ex is acting and doing the fool. And then also I feel as though a lot of you are either stuck in a mortgage, stuck in a lease, stuck with a lease. Like, for example, you know, you moved into a place together and then they seem to abandon the situation too soon and now you're sort of stuck there and you don't want to be but you don't want to screw up your credit and so I can sense that kind of stuff going on and so a lot of you Leos were really really wanting to move forward um, in it so it may be um, plans to move relocate or something you're wanting to relocate okay or either move 
Now, for tomorrow, the 26th, the Queen of Pentacles comes up in the inverted position. So, again, this is that Earth sign energy. I, I feel like this is a possessive lover. This is somebody that's really possessive. Somebody that's really controlling. Somebody that, you know, doesn't even want you to walk down the street without um, some sort of, you know, they're, they're very controlling. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, it is a... Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, what do you want Leos to know about this person? Okay, so the Eight of Swords inverted. Um, they are either trying to control you or they are still controlled by the relationship. It's sort of like they're, they're locked into the relationship. They can't release themselves from it. Um, so I feel like... And then also I feel like if the Queen of Pentacles inverted is your lover, there's something that either you're arguing about or either you're trying to figure out. Something you may be trying to agree upon. Okay, Leo. Um, For the 27th, you guys got the Rebirth card in the inverted position. So the Rebirth card represents renewal. Um, it's it's It may be comparable to the Star card, is what I will say. Now, there's a resistance with as far as healing. So if you're single, a lot of you are having a hard time if you're single, you are having a hard time moving on from your ex. But I can sense that your ex is still, like, I don't want to say stalking you, but still thinking about you a lot and, you know, purposely doing stuff to prevent you from moving on. So, and that's really bad when people do stuff like that. I think that's really cruel, especially when you're ready to move on. Especially when you're ready to move on. When you're like, you know what, this is not working for me. It's, I'm not happy. Nobody should stay in a, in a situation that they're not happy with. So if you're cross-watching, I can tell that Leo is not happy. They want to leave, but you won't let them. Whoever Whoever is cross-watching, I can see a lot of Leos dealing with that. And it could be Leo that won't let the person leave, but the person is really just making excuses. Because, you know, and then they always kind of put it off on Leo. So for the 28th, the Prince of Swords inverted comes up. So this is some sort of heated argument I can see you and lo your lover having. Um, or either you're going to hear about something about your ex in social media that you're not going to like. Maybe it's something that they're going to say about you or to you. They may be posting stuff on their Facebook, Instagram. Some kind of negative communication coming from them. And it just, like whoever this is, they've got to be narcissistic. Because for them to just keep this kind of negativity going for so long, I mean, it's really having a negative effect. And I feel almost like it may be, I don't want to say that it's affecting a lot of you Leos uh, financially. But I feel like what it is affecting you is, is it is affecting your personal health. Because when you're trying to move on, and so I don't know why I can sense that there's a house and it, it's it's some sort of house or place of residence and, and this person has possibly been threatening you or something and it's just really a very toxic situation that you need to get out from under especially if you've been under it for a while and you're like look i'm ready to move on okay um but anyway going to the uh 29th you guys got the five of swords in the inverted position so I really, really feel as though this is where a lot of you are feeling defeated, but you seem to be fighting back. I feel like a lot of you are feeling defeated because that's what the Five of Swords represents is feeling defeated. But I feel like you're fighting back um, in the situation. But I also feel as though there's some things that need to be communicated between you and your partner. That's a horrible communication. Horrible communication at the moment. Um, the 30th of October, the Ace of Cups comes up in the inverted position. So there's either going to be news of a baby 
coming up for a lot of you Leos or either some kind of wonderful news that you're going to get. But your love life is overshadowing it. And see, I do see a blessing coming into you guys coming up, Leo, for around the 30th and the 31st. Uh, definitely something that's there to make you very happy. But you're super hyper focused on either your love life. I, you know, for me, I'm a Leo rising, but I don't stay super hyper focused on my love life. So maybe this is somebody saying, you know, staying focused on you. But I do see good news coming on the 30th, uh, which is Tuesday. There's some good news coming. That's why the Ace of Cups comes up. But I feel as though in the love life, you know, things aren't necessarily going the way that you want them to, to go. Um, and then also I feel as though a lot of you Leos wanted to move on, but you're really, really having a hard time doing that. And you discover that the day before Halloween, you discover that you just, you may be feeling emotional about this person. Um, I do see some sort of good news coming um, on, the, on Tuesday, just in general. Now, the wheel is on Halloween, but it is in the inverted position, which means that a lot of you need to be careful of bad juju. Some kind of bad juju coming from an earth sign. Either an earth sign or an air sign. Some sort of bad juju coming. Give me some clarity advice on the wheel. Yeah, I'm going to clarify this wheel because, yeah, well, the Nine of Pentacles comes up. So, I, you know, I do see good things coming up, but I also feel at the same time that somebody is being resistant to that change. So maybe you don't want to share your good news with that person because... I, you know, I do get the sense that they are doing everything that they can spiritually and mentally to keep you where you're at. And that's really, to me, I don't believe that that's love. I really honestly don't. I just, I don't agree with this person and what they're doing, Leo. And I think that they're way too controlling. I think that they are requiring way too much sacrifice on their part that, on your part, that they are not willing to give. So I just, I really don't like it. Now, I will tell you that um, I do see some sort of money or either some sort of good news coming. Um, coming up next week for you guys. Okay, is what I can see. Coming, coming when you're going closer to, I feel like things are going to be rough up until the 29th. And then the 30th, I'm sorry, up in, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, up until the 30th. And you're going to get some kind of good news and some sort of, you know, fortune is coming. But I feel like in your love life, things are not the greatest. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you got to take baby steps. Because, you know, Leo, for me, you know, I'm a Leo rising. But like I said, I am not hyper focused on my love life at all. So, um, I'm hyper focused on my love life within myself and taking care of and pampering myself and giving myself what I need. But as far as trying to tend to someone else's needs, I just, you know, I'm just not, you know, I've, I've got kids and I've got bills and I've got life and, you know, I just, there's just other things that I want that are more important. So, you know, maybe perhaps focus on those things and you know, maybe not staying hyper-focused. I do see um, definitely an earth sign individual. And this could be your parent. It could be your friend. It could be your sister. It could be your brothers. Or it could be everybody. Or it could be people at work. But I feel as though there is some negative energy that's coming from an earth sign. And I feel like it's... I feel like, Leo, it's... It's, it's, it's messing with your focus a whole lot. Because right now I feel like you're focused on other things that are more important. 
and this person is more so focused on things that are not that important you know what I'm saying like you know their priorities might be a little bit different than yours which is why the eight of swords comes up inverted around this person um, tomorrow as well on the 26th so you guys might want to you know I don't know have a talk with that person or I don't know talk to the spirit or talk to yourself or something but anyway you guys can always talk to me the link to my website is below thank you so much for watching leo again hit that subscribe button thumbs up and i'll see you guys for the next reading bye bye